I make sure my heights are all adjusted. Is that steam coming from? I should my brakes. Ha, <laughs> puddle. You know, it's steam off the brakes. Aye. Make sure my heights are adjusted well so I don't catch my wings on my trailer because it's very close. Traction control off, uh, retarders, everything like that off. And then I do different things. I I put my weight transfer on when I'm coming back out, but my axle's not down and now. My axle's obviously up because we're empty. Stick it in manual. Because we've got a bit of a coin here. so much when going in but you should always be doing it you want to take every corner as wide as you can use all the road because you might automatically be going along and you'll pull your trailer right into the ditch especially when you've got some weight on it when you're fully loaded you get close I mean you'll just cut right through and it'll pull you in now if you're lucky enough it'll just pull your trailer in you'll have to throw phone the crane driver he might be a bit upset. In fact, no, he will be upset. He'll be very upset. And get him to take the load off yet, and hopefully you can pull the, still pull it out of the ditch. But as if you're lucky. Other outcome is it pulls you in and pulls you right over onto your side. And then you probably get a wrecker. And that's a lot more expensive to recover and damage to the lorry and it doesn't look good on site as well to whoever you're doing the job for they might think you're not professionals if you can't drive in and out safely right, I'm just going to select fourth here this is a very gritty bit of road and I don't want to spin my tyres I select my speed and my revs and I stick at it like hopefully just hold that all the way up because I do not want to spin my tyres coming up here because you rip one chunk out of these tyres oh, and you've got to replace them, that's, you know, 300 and, well, to replace you'd be 360 quid a tyre, you know what I mean, just because you're not driving in the correct manner. Just, 
wee bit of a climb this hill and it is very stony so just I, I keep a lookout for stones as well, big big stones on the road and just try and avoid them because you just don't want one of them, same thing, going up, bang, through, right between the tread, right through the cords, knackered, absolutely knackered. Hey guys, another thing you want to be doing when you're coming into the woods is, and out, is radio where you are. To, Jesus, these roads are terrible. You want to be on the CB to find out if there's any loaded wagons coming out, because if you're empty and he's loaded, you're going to have to reverse. Uh, and it's also good courtesy when you're coming out, if you're loaded, keep shouting that you're loaded and you're coming out, because you don't want to just appear on the scene and make a guy reverse when he hasn't heard you across the radio, right? So you are good to see me. But I've wood ahead, I know I'm clear all the way in here so I can just crack on. I was going to quite show you, in order to get me the logs on, because we're loading off the road here, as you can see. There's not a loaded deck, he has to reverse me. I'm going to stand back here because he's obviously loaded. Health and safety first. He has got to stick me in the ditch to get the first bunk on the front. Once you get the first bunk on, I'll draw forward and you'll get the back on. These are the ratchets I use to tie down my load. These are pull down ratchets, so instead of eventually going up the way, you tighten going down the way, right? A lot more grip and strength on them to hold down loads like these. Oh, there, give me a good knock. Give me a tight seize, make sure I've a bit of slack. and fold up the excess like so, about there. Hold, fold, in like that. And just give it a right good rock up. Get your weight into it. And you'll even feel the logs at the top slide it over. Oh. There you go. Once you've driven out the woods a wee bit, you will get out and redo them again because the logs will all settle. Right, for coming out of the woods, I'm going to turn my traction control off and I'm going to hit my weight transfer button which is going to stick I know I've got a warning sign on there for one of my lights and that'll stick all the weight onto my drive tyres Right, keep it in manual and have full control of the lorry coming out here and avoid wheel spinning and remember to keep calling on your CB Channel 19 turn back to the main road before I join, I jump out, I recheck all my straps because the logs will settle while coming out of the roads, so you double check them, make sure they're nice and tight, I put my traction control back on and I put my weight transfer back to normal and then level out the lorry, so take it steady going down for the first wee bit because you don't know if you picked up any damage or strain on the trail or the unit, so just Take it steady for the first wee bit and then pick up speed. Better bed in. Heading to Komali. Throw this off and then try and get back down for another one. Uh, I don't want to have a break, half hour to get 10 minutes. I don't think I'm going to do that for him because I'll just knock him a spread over for tomorrow. But we're coming into Kamali, beacon zone because we like safety.
Good weight, good weight. 43, 800, that's what you want. 43, 800. Oh, well, we like 44, bang on, but it's kind of hard to do that all the time. Oh, jump out here, get these straps off, let's get unloaded. Always need to take my boots off. I'm waiting to get tipped, but there's no way about. I think they're on their, their tea. So while they're on their tea, I think I'm going to go quite get something to eat myself. I make a plan for tomorrow. I always got a plan ahead, so I'm going to go back down, grab a. Well, I won't get back down there tonight, but get as far down as I can, nine off, eh, and go in and get. A load for Caledonian paper, I think, and then tip Cali tomorrow, race back up to get a load back for here, and then once tipped here, home, and that'll be me done for the weekend. Well, done driving, you always have other things to do, I suppose, but that's the plan, we'll see how we go on. Oh, right, load tipped. Trailer swept off, don't know. Trailer swept off and bearers put away. We have one hour left. I'm going to try and maybe make it to Oban, park up there, nine off. We'll reload in the morning and head for Cali Paper. Happy days.